How many people here have ever owned one of these old phones? Quite a few of you. Now, how many people here currently own an Android or iPhone? And that's basically all of you. We can see how we are evolving, different to previous generations, because we are evolving with technology, information at our fingertips. In a normal-sized library that contains around 18,000 books, that amount of information and more is contained in the small devices we carry around. Education of the past never had access to this sort of information. Yet, we still use similar models for learning. One step back is the idea that if we remove these devices, it will cause less of a distraction. If we remove the iPhones, if we remove the iWatches, we won't be distracted by the internet, by the information. Yet, in the future, we need to learn to deal with these distractions because technology is advancing rapidly and is an integral part of human life. Therefore, we can't keep removing these vital resources we will use in schools and in life. It would lead to a lack of relevance. And this lack of relevance would then lead to a lack of motivation. One main focus should be to teach students to be technologically literate and to teach them how to deal with the future. Education now is a reflection of a world without technology. Nowadays, in jobs and life, this is not the case. So it shouldn't be in schools. Let's have a show of hands in the audience who has taken or is planning to take SAT, IB, or A-level exams. That's a pretty, pretty big majority. Wouldn't you agree, in the end, it's all that matters for your future? Well, why haven't we thought of any different way of measuring a person's ability to achieve excellence? We live and function with the technology of the 21st century, while our exams were designed in the 20th century. Of course, the school system has been trying to fit the demands of modern society, yet it still alienates talented individuals who just cannot fit into the standard academic rank determined by standardized testing. We all have our unique learning styles. It can be visual, kinesthetic, auditory, or text comprehensive. Well, guess to which learning style are standardized testing most tipped in favor of? Hmm. Do you consider yourself a text comprehensive learner? If you do, I wish you the best in your exams. And if you're not, I'm in the same boat with you. We cannot expect everyone who is unique in their own abilities to perform to the maximum of their intelligence in standardized testing. It is not fair for people with different ways of understanding information to be tested in the same way. It is not fair for us to be deprived of our technology in exam conditions, since in everyday life, we have technology at our disposal. So I ask all of you, do you think the incorporation of technology and the modification of final examination is the next step to improving our education system in order to encourage students to learn and be interested in the learning rather than them for just getting good grades? Thank you. Thank you.